Hello, Mike McClaw here with Twin Harbor Web Solutions. I'm just making this uh, quick video this morning to show you um, a new feature that we released for Waypoint today. Um, it's an upgrade to an existing uh, widget, but it's a feature a lot of customers have been asking for. And uh, I just want to do a quick walkthrough on how to use it. Um, you see here, this is our website, TwinHarbor.com. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and hit Edit Page to give you a little demo of this widget. You may already be familiar with this widget. We'll go ahead and click Add a Widget here. It is right here, the code block widget. So I'll click this to add one. Now I've got a code block widget on my website. Basically what this does, it allows you to put any kind of HTML content you want right onto your page. Um, usually you can use this for posting in forms, different things. Uh, the demo I'm going to show you today is you putting a PayPal button on your website. Previously, this wouldn't work. And the reason for that is because Waypoint is written in ASP.NET. And ASP.NET pages are wrapped top to bottom in a form. And, for example, a PayPal button, which we're going to put on here, is its own form, and you're not allowed to put a form inside of a form. So what this does is it creates an iframe. And an iframe basically is allowing you to put a page in a page, which thereby lets you have a form. So what we're going to do is go through this. So here's our, we're ready to post content right in here, so let's go ahead and get that content. So we'll pop over to PayPal. I'm already logged in, so in PayPal to make a button, you can go log in and go to Merchant Services, and I'm just going to put a little Buy Now button on here. Depending on what kind of account you have at PayPal, you may have different options, but uh, we'll just go in here and create a just create a quick button. So we'll say this is a product, my product. We'll give this button a name, item ID. We can put that in here. One, two, three. We'll give it a price of $9.95. And there's all different kinds of options in here. We're just going to go ahead and create the button, though, just to make a quick one. Um, and you'll see here, the code that it gives you starts right here with a form tag. And that form tag previously wasn't allowed inside of an ASP.NET page, but the new widget is going to fix that. So we're going to go ahead and hit copy on this, pop back over to our Waypoint site, and paste it right in here. The one thing we do have to do now is over here on the right there's an option contain an iframe and we just want to check that. We'll go ahead and click save and here's our PayPal button. Previously if you clicked it it wouldn't work now when you click it it'll work. Which will take a second and then it would take you to your PayPal login page. So let's go back to our page and when you hit view page you'll see it's just right on the page. One other setting you may want to tweak depending on what kind of form you're posting in here. Size may matter. Um, the default size is just about this big, but if you have a larger form, you might start to see scroll bars appear, and if that happens and you don't want it to, the width and height are specified right here, and you basically just set that in pixels. And um, if you don't have an easy gauge on how many pixels your area is, usually you can just do trial and error, add a little more, take a little away, and uh, that sort of thing. So um, hopefully that helps some people out there.